Welcome back subscribers and uh, to all those people that happen to just be strolling around on the internet and surfing like a wild man on the beach um, and you stumble across this video, welcome. Uh, I hope you perhaps learn something and um, you find some success with it as I have with this little strategy I came up with. In a nutshell, um, I came up with this just a couple days ago as a modification to my prior uh, successful four and two method strategy that I played for years and I you know sometimes with me when I get stuck on something and it's working fine I don't like messing with it it's kinda like that old saying you know if it's not broken don't fix it well let's not call this a fix let's just call it a heavy modification that's really kicking some butt anyway with that said um, it is now 530 in the morning and uh, for the first time in a long time I actually got more than four hours of sleep. Uh, I have a pretty active brain, so uh, I always have projects going on. I'm writing a book, working on a classic car. Uh, just got back from vacation, and uh, hey, it is what it is. Anyway, without any more of my extensive talking, let's get started here. You can see I, I start. I'm starting off where I left off last time, and that is 2:42. And I'm just going to go ahead and bust this out for 10 minutes before I. Um, jump in the shower and uh, head to work I do have a cup of coffee so um, hey that's a good start right you gotta have coffee in the morning at least I do because if I don't I'm a son of a yeah one of those I guess that's the old uh, former marine in me comes out sometimes and I have to keep him in check and the only way I can do that is if I uh, have some coffee in the morning. Anyway, looks like it's an interesting start because I'm already at the third tier, uh, which is something I don't get to very often. And knock on wood, wait, knock on wood, um, I haven't gone out at this level. Uh, this is my third level of the bedding, which is the highest tier. Generally, um, I don't like Martingale systems at all, at all, at all. And I think in the very beginning, that's why I kind of poo-pooed the whole idea of even thinking about this, because it is, in a sense, a Martingale. But um, anyway, with that said, uh, here we go. Let's see. Ready? Drum roll. I'm actually not worried about it because it has never gone out on me. So that's what I'm really trying to do here is push these to the thousand dollar mark each time and I will in the future do the same because I want to see how often you know I get to that top tier and how actually how often I will lose a session a full session based on the loss at that highest one hundred dollar tier for four hundred inside uh, anyway with that in mind I'm gonna go ahead now and drop it down and um, do my regression back to the first level and that's uh Keep making some nickels. What do you think, guys? I came up with a four and two years ago based on a statistical fact that I learned from a, a casino manager, and that is the average crap shooter only rolls seven times before a seven out. All right. Now there are a lot of other statistics out there. You know, I know it's there are more combinations on the roll of a dice of a seven but in the end it comes out to I don't know 16 16 percent of the time it's going to come in blah 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 um, and there are more sevens of course combinations like I said but uh, and I always get responses like that well there is this 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 and I said yeah but anyway so this is why I came up with a four or two which is basically uh, four rolls or two wins and then I would wait until a seven out. And that's when I had the epiphany, I don't know why I didn't have this years ago, of just continuing on, making it this uh, eureka strategy. So anyway, uh, so that's why I only tell people, look, you know, you're only going for one win or four rolls. Even if you're getting a gut feeling at that third roll that, hey, don't do it, follow your gut feeling. You know what, guys? You wait patiently for three more minutes and do it to where your gut feels comfortable with it. Don't push it just because I say four. That's just a, a comfortable uh, number just because, uh, once again, the average shooter could only roll seven times before a seven out. 
So that's my method of madness in my mind regarding why I, I get apprehensive once I get to three or four rolls. Uh, for good reason, too. I'm sure in all of your hours of play, you can think of, yeah, you know what? I don't really have that often do I have a really, really, really good long roll. But they happen, you know. <laughs> Excuse me, but it's funny, I haven't been sleeping but at the same time I've had this cold for a while. So um where <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> Excuse me. Anyway, let's get that point going. Come on, give me another nickel. Or you don't have to, because I'll just uh make back all the money I just lost and give myself another seven or so bucks just by going this bam or just by doing that and then I kind of pop on down and hey regress on down conserve that bankroll and limit your risks as much as possible but getting to the lowest tier as soon as possible and that's um that's why I also like the martingale idea with this is because you know, unlike the stupid red and black of a roulette and doing a martingale on that and getting wiped out quick, you know, you have four you have four options of numbers that are going to come in, and they just happen to be four of the numbers that uh, have the most combinations of uh, of coming in. So that's why I'm comfortable with it. Let's say that word again, comfortable. Yes, I'm tired and I'm and I'm mumbling. That's okay. It is what it is. So I'm going to fire up my nickels, my little green machines, and I'm going to pop it for one. Bam! Oop! I spoke too soon, but I'll say it now. Bam! Clear it down. Drop on down to my nickels. So, you know, after these sessions, I'm going to have to say, with all confidence, um, this is looking pretty bulletproof, guys. You know, I remember a long time ago, I was with a bunch of buddies. I, God, I think this was like nine years ago. I was playing craps with a buddy, and he said, wouldn't it be cool if you could win $5, just $5 every roll? And I thought, yeah, it would be kind of cool. But... Um, Anyway, with that in mind, I just lost that 25 level. So let's uh, cut my talking down and get to the $100 level. And the butt pucker effect kicks in, but I'm not too worried. Yeah, and even though I'm not making... Um, you know, seven, eight bucks every time I'm doing every every roll, still comes out to, I don't know. I'm gonna have to do the math on that and come back to you because um, I can't. I know I equated a while ago how many rolls can happen on a bubble craps machine. Who one, two, three? I'm cutting it down. And that was at the quarters level. Again, hey, you know what? Follow your gut feeling. If you don't like it, turn it off. You know, that was one of the hardest things for me to learn a long time ago is having the discipline to just say, no, I don't have to. When in all reality, all I had to do is just wait two minutes. <laughs> you know, big deal. When you're making this kind of money in uh, that amount of time, um, hey, I don't care if I have to sit around wait with my four and two I was regularly waiting sometimes 15 minutes before seven out maybe not that long it's kind of exaggerating but 
you get the idea. Um, and I was frustrated, but at the same time, you know, it was making me money. But this has exponentially kicked it off to the highest level. Um, and it's simple to do. That's why I like it. You know what? There's there's not this pushing this and pressing that and, you know, forgetting to take that and, oh, did I take that? Or, gosh, you know, a lot of the systems and strategies out there um, make things too difficult. And in my brain, I have to keep things simple um, just because I have to. There's already enough crap up there that it gets jumbled around and information gets put into different storage boxes, if you will. And I can't seem to remember what storage box I put my information in. Anyway, with that in mind, I said I was going to go ahead and stop at the 10 minute mark. Looks like we're right there. We're up to uh, 408, 66. Anyway, uh, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't uh, done so already, please consider liking and subscribing. Not that I really care about making money on YouTube, but you know what? I'm really happy that this is this epiphany, this eureka moment has come my way. And I just want to share it with people. You know what? That's what good karma is all about. That's what my life is all about, is sharing information, because good things, you know, come come back in your return. And uh, I don't care about making money with this. You know, I look at those people that do make these systems and sell them, and half of them are crap anyway. I've tried them all. And uh, this, to me, is a very viable solution to all of the many problem systems that I've seen out there. But that's just uh, based on my, my current testing. Um, of course, more testing is going to happen, but I'm very confident with it. Anyway, with that in mind, hey, you guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. Take it easy.